Hey, what's up guys, William Matthew here. I hope you guys are having a great day. And in today's video, I actually have a good friend of mine, Timo, and he's gonna be talking about his story and how he became you know, a professional soccer player here at the RGB Toros. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and I'm gonna hand it off here to my good friend, so. What's up guys? My name is Timo Melisch. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Germany, uh, a city called Mönchengladbach. Um, yeah, I'm currently playing my first year uh, professional in the USL Championship for RGB Toros. And yeah, I kind of want to um, walk you guys through my story and um, how I made it to this point. And yeah. Starting, I, I, I played, like most of you, starting in a small, you know, hometown team when I was about four or five. Um, you know, started, like, realizing I was, I was a decent player when I was about, like, eight, nine, ten, um, when I got in, in touch with the first academy teams, but never really wanted to, like, leave my hometown. So um, I actually stayed with my friends playing in the hometown until I was 13. And then at that point, I was like, okay, I really want to, I want to become a professional. So um, I got to, I got to make the next step, got to. I didn't really have to leave home because um, the academy was pretty close, but you know, didn't really have that much time for my friends. So yeah, my, my first um, academy year was uh, under 14s and that's when I quickly realized, okay, uh, Germany is definitely, definitely a tough spot. Um, there's, there's a lot of great teams. So I'm from the Western region where, where a lot of teams like Dortmund, Schalke, Leverkusen, um, my team, Bruce Emerson, Gladbach, Cologne, and just, just a lot of really good academies play. So um, day in and day out, we. I um, competed with, with great teams um, every weekend was, was really tough and um, started off okay. Um, my first year was decent, you know, coming from the hometown team, like some of you, like you may feel like you're the best player on the team and um, yeah, you, you just want to, you want to come to the next step and then all, all of a sudden you realize, okay, there's, there's a lot of great players and um, that was like my first moment where I was like, wow, um, there's, there's, it's not just me with that dream. So there's a lot of really good players and um, yeah, under 14 was a decent year, was okay. Um, then under 15 was, was a tough year. I didn't get a lot of playing time. Um, I used to be really, I'm six foot right now. Um, I used to be really small and really light. So um, I used to be a winger and now I'm a central midfielder. Um, I used to struggle a lot growing up. Yeah, with like um, my physicality. So under 15 wasn't a good year for me. I didn't play a lot. Um, I gained some experiences, it was good, but I had a really good year than the year after. So in Germany it is um, the very best players in under 15, at least for our academy, they jumped straight to the under 17 and played there as a, uh, as a younger age. But um, other players that might not have played that much or weren't like at the top level, got the chance for the under 16s to really grow physically, get stronger and, and get game time. So. I had a really good time um, in the under-16s, I had great coaching staff and felt really good. Um, yeah, at that time I was, I was 15, 16 years old and that's when I signed my first um, youth contract. It's, it's, not a real, it's not a real deal or anything, but um, it pretty much keeps you with your team and no one can, can buy you out or anything. So I pretty much signed a little deal um, that kept me with the academy from under-17 all the way to second under-19 year, which is like the last youth year. And um, I was obviously super stoked. Um, that was my, my first big achievement, you know, like signing that deal and, um, you know, thinking that they really believed in you and that you might have a future at that team was, was, was big time. So um, I came into my under 17 year, um, didn't play my best soccer, but had, had a decent first half year, like it was okay. Um, didn't get that much playing time, but then second half of the year in, in January of, I think it was 2014, that was my, my under 17 year and I, I wasn't part of the starting 11 and I was already struggling and then the injury kind of came to it and at that point I was really probably at, at the lowest of my like confidence, you know, like at that point I was really like, damn, um, I see other people getting, getting stronger, getting bigger, um, might, might be more talented than me and that was really a changing point where um, 
I really wasn't confident. I wasn't. I wasn't enjoying the game. I was always the one that you know. I was. I would always play with a smile on my face. I was. I was always happy no matter when I got to, uh, when I got to play. And that year, it really changed a little bit where um, I wasn't confident. Um, I wasn't enjoying it as much, and I really like. I don't know. I I needed some time for myself, and I think at that point the injury was um, yeah a blessing and a curse because. Uh, my, my disc popped out, my, my lower back was, was super weak for, for like, it, it shouldn't happen to a 16 year old, but um, at that point, um, yeah, I had, I had a lot of back problems and I was out for a while, but um, obviously I had, to, I had to work on my back problems. I, I had to work out a lot. That's when I first started actually um, working out, not really with weights, but you know, a lot of push ups, pull ups, abs, all that kind of stuff. And I gained a lot of weight, I got a lot stronger, and I was out for about half a year. And um, that was the end of my under 17 year. Uh, at that point, um, we had a meeting with our coaches, about five or six, seven players of our team. Um, the coaches sat us down and basically said, you guys have two more years of your contract, but it doesn't look like you guys are gonna get any or a lot of game time. And uh, that was obviously hard, you know, um, just a year after signing my deal, you know, like it just went from all the way up there. And then a year later, you were kind of down and thinking, damn, like, you're, you're like it was always it's always been my dream I'm still a fan of that club I owe the team a lot but um, you know it was, it was my dream playing for that for my hometown um, Bundesliga club and getting those messages like getting to hear that you're probably not gonna play a lot was was really tough um, but it, I was really fortunate because and that year our uh, neighbor team same city but um, small Academy that actually had a breakthrough year and made it to the under 19 Bundesliga so we would compete against each other um, just at a smaller academy. And um, without even trying out for them, for some reason the coach had like, watched some video and had faith in me and signed me. So um, my both years in under 19 Bundesliga, which is the highest level you could play in, in youth soccer, um, I actually played for FC Mönchengladbach, which is a neighborhood team. Um, uh, so we would compete against all the big teams, against Dortmund, I played against I played against Tilo Kara for PSG. I played against all the big names um, of, of, of young players. Um, and I got to play at a, at, a, um, at a small academy, but at the highest level. And I was the youngest on the team my first year. Missed half of the preseason because of my injury and um, actually had to take, take a step back after the first week of practicing. My back started hurting again. And um, yeah, the, the, the big step was we go to training camp and uh, we name our captains and for so, for some reason my coach names me a uh, second captain as the youngest player on the team and not really playing a lot with the team so i was shocked my teammates were kind of shocked and i'm um, kind of disappointed too because there was a lot of older guys that that probably wanted that as well but um you know he trusted me he gave me confidence he trusted me and i started playing i played all every single game started every single game in my in my uh youth bundesliga career and it was an amazing time the first year we ended up I think just a few points behind Leverkusen, like six, seventh place. We were playing against relegation, but ended up beating a lot of the big teams. It was one of my, 2014 was one of my favorite years for sure. Um, great, great, great times. Um, great coaching staff I had, because sometimes you just need someone to really believe in you. And you know, I was, I was at the bottom, you know, that's how it goes in soccer up and down. It's a, it's a daily business. So um, that's something you got to work with. And um, yeah, I, he believed in me, he gave me confidence, I needed playing time, and it all worked out pretty well. So fast forward two years later, um, I'm at the end of my youth career. I'm 18 years old and I just finished my high school, or I was about to finish my high school um, at the same time as I finished my youth career. So now obviously it's, it's a big step, you're done with school, you're done with your youth career, what happens now? Like I said, Germany is a, is a really tough spot. Um, competition is really high, so um, it's not really easy to find to find a team like that, especially coming from from a small academy. Obviously, I, I had two good years, but um, still finding that finding the next team is really hard. And um, we had played a, a tournament in Las Vegas when I was 15, under 15s. Um, I had played a tournament, and um, the organizer of the tournament and our coaching staff was really was really tight, and um, they were really good friends. And um, so he started reaching out to some of our players from Borussia Mönchengladbach and also from FC Mönchengladbach, my academy, and just kind of asking what we were doing after, um, after high school. My parents obviously um, would have liked me to, to finish my school and wanted me to pursue like, you know, a college career or um, university in Germany. 
So it kind of um, came to those, came to the point where he reached out to me and just said, "Listen, there's a coach from a from a college in um, in Las Vegas. He's looking for players, and uh, he's coming down. He's coming down to Germany for a week. And uh, if you let me know when your games are, he would probably come and watch your games. And I mean, I I didn't think too much about it. I was just like, sure, I have I have a game at, I have a game that weekend. So." Um, you can just uh, you can just tell him to come down, and uh, I'm not gonna make a decision now. But obviously, I would like to talk to him and just listen to to the offer. So um, he came down. That was in February of my my last year, so it should have been uh, it was February 2016. Um, he watched the game. He watched some some games with my friends, and um, and he sat me down and said that he was willing to offer me a full scholarship, and pretty much kind of explained to me what colleges you gotta understand like. Coming from Germany, um, there's no university soccer. There's no there's no college athletes. There's no sports there. So it's pretty much either you pursue soccer or you pursue your college. I have some friends that did online school, but um, it never really works out. So in Germany, it's 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 tough. So um, you either pursue soccer or the other thing. So uh, it was tough for me. I I trained with Schalke um, for a couple weeks in uh, I think in May um, and. It was just, it was kind of difficult at that point. It was really just, you know, figuring out. I tried to apply for my visa at the same time. You know, I did my SATs, um, my ACT, and I wasn't sure what to do. You know, it was really tough. Um, I had a girlfriend at that time. So obviously I was always aware of the situation in soccer that I would have to move at some point, but you know, moving 5,000 miles away is, is, uh, is a different kind, kind of step. So. Uh, it took a long time, and I can't really tell you why, but it just felt like the right move. Um, what the coach said really impressed me. Um, I like the idea of you know finishing my, my college career at the same time playing at a high level of soccer. Um, and it, for some reason, I just said, let's do it. So um, a couple weeks really before uh, the season started or before preseason started, I decided to fly to America. And... Um, I took my brother with me at first I was scared um, I didn't want to go I knew English a little bit but um, my English really wasn't that good so um, it was nice to have my brother who was older than me and a little more experienced with those things so I took him with me spent some weeks uh, traveling around the coast just to get to know you know the culture and everything and yeah um, here I was uh, starting my college career for UNLV in Vegas started off Kind of tough. I, I didn't know really what to expect. Uh, it was it was weird. Um, college, you know, the playing style, getting sucked in and off, and um, it was it was just weird to me. I, it took some time for me to get used to it. The physicality. It was you know a, ro a lot of running. You know, when you come from Germany, it's all about you know you learn tactics really young and and obviously technical stuff. So I think I, I knew I had my advantage there, but you know a lot of these, these college kids were really strong. Um, you know. The schedule was tough, you know, waking up every morning and um, at the same time, you know, balancing school life, you know, learning a new language pretty much. And um, it was it was hard. So my first year, I started off relatively slow, um, ended up finding a rhythm by, I don't know, probably like six, seven games into the season. And from there on, I really, really started enjoying it. You know, I made some friends at that point. I got used to the dorms, you know, which was weird for me at first and ended up winning a uh, freshman of the year actually. And uh, we advanced to, to the tournament for the first time, um, obviously for me, and we played a great tournament. We, we made it to the second round of nationals for the first time in like 30 years. So I had a great first season and um, started to really enjoy it, but I got homesick by the end and was really happy to, to go home, obviously over the, over the winter break. Um, and then the first, the first big uh, hit for me was spring season. Um, that was just something I didn't expect, you know, not seeing the ball a lot, working, getting a lot stronger. I gained, I gained probably like five, six, seven pounds, just, just you know, moving weights and, um, yeah, not having those games and not really playing competitive soccer was was tough. Um, and then after after spring, I went to uh, OKC Energy, the under 23s, which was a PDL team, which I can probably, which I can recommend. I didn't know at first if if PDL was a good thing for me, but. Over the years, I figured out um, it was it was a good step. Played a couple games there, but told the coach already I wanted to go home. You know, you know, spend some time with the family. Sophomore year, we had a great team. Um, probably didn't um, exceed our expectations really, because 
we stayed pretty much with the same team as the, as the freshman year, had some additions, so should have really gone higher. Um, I started slow again, ended with a with a good season, um, made the made the first team all conference. Um, but you know, for me at that point, I had really really high expectations of myself, and I was really aiming for for even a generation Adidas spot, and I, and I really wanted to leave college early um, after two decent seasons. I was already in talks with my coach, saying, okay, like maybe if there's if there's a third year um, that's going that well you might be able to um, you know, find a pro team even before finishing. And um, obviously I wanted to finish my college career, but I gotta be honest, I was, I was a little tired of you know, doing classes and waking up every morning, running a lot. And it was, it was tiring to be honest. And um, I felt like I was ready to you know, get to the next level. And uh, yeah, so my junior year started. Um, I didn't decide, I, I didn't wanna play PDL this year. I wanted to focus completely on the fall season. And, Went to Germany, practiced with some teams there, had some trainers there, so really was in 100% peak shape and uh, was really confident going into the new season. Started off with a great weekend, um, two great wins, and I was just like, wow, like this is a season, this is it. And uh, yeah, I kind of like went downhill from there. Um, I uh, had problems with my groins, so I missed like two games, played one game where I literally couldn't play a long ball and was just struggling, um, got really frustrated with myself. Took like two weeks off, came back, um, tore all my ligaments and my, my ankle. And that was pretty much it for my junior season. So that's when I started getting really frustrated. Um, yeah, so my junior season, I played, I think around 11 or 12 games, probably half of them at full fitness. So um, it was tough, especially because scouts came watching and saw me not performing at the level I should have been performing. So. Um, it was definitely a step back for me and um, yeah I was dealing at that time I was dealing with some personal problems as well my family wasn't doing too well back in Germany so um, spending the time back home over Christmas break was really was really tough um, I obviously really enjoyed it but it was tough leaving my family after that um, spring was the same thing you know the problems didn't really go away and um, had a really tough tough junior year like both both semesters um, and was really like put a lot of pressure on myself for my senior year, you know? Um, it was the last chance, that's why I really wanted to go all the way in junior year, because I was like, okay, if it doesn't work out now, I still have another year, but you know, now, um, going into the summer of 2019, I was really at the point where I was like, damn, now it's all in or nothing, and um, actually before I, so I decided to play for Timbers under 23, the summer of 2019, and um, you know, went for a quick little vacation with my family uh, a week before I went there. Uh, which was really good, you know, I had a lot of talks with my family there and um, a lot of people helped me, you know, kind of motivated me for my last year and uh, Yeah, so I played I played a great summer with the Timbers got to play a little bit with the USL team We had to practice there a little bit and um, had a great time actually That was really like I'm just kind of trying to tell you guys how it goes up and down in soccer and how it's how it's normal and how you got to get used to it um, you know, you're gonna fall that fall down. You're gonna got to get up and um, yeah, it's a daily business. So one day you're the hero the other day, you know, you might you might not be so um, The biggest thing that I learned was really perseverance um, really p pushing through um, So yeah last last fall I ended up um, we, we ended up not doing well at all as a team. Um, it was probably the worst year in a couple years um, The way we placed as a team and the way we played as a team too. So it was really frustrating unfortunately, I, I had a I had a pretty good season myself um, for a midfielder. I scored I scored 11 goals, um, which is another thing for you guys if you guys want to go to college. Unfortunately, stats, um, especially if you don't go to a big school like UNLV, might not be the most famous soccer school. So um, stats are unfortunately a big part, um, especially for midfielders. Uh, you know, there's I've played against some great midfielders that just didn't have the stats, and um, it's hard for you guys uh, to maybe like might get recognized. I'm not saying you guys should all go for the stats and. Um, you know, try to just score and, and do everything by yourself. Um, it's just kind of kind of how it is. But, um, you know, if you're a good player, that's always what I said. I never transferred. I never wanted to go to a different school. I always said, I'm a good player. Um, I will get recognized. I will get seen by scouts, um, no matter what school I play for. So, um, yeah, I ended up doing really well myself for the senior year. Um, got invited to a couple combines. Um, and, uh, yeah, talked to, that was like, last year in December, so 2019 December, I got invited to a couple combines. 
played actually really well, played in, in some positions I wasn't used to. So I'm an attacking midfielder and um, I played one whole, one full combine, like three, four games and as a holding midfielder. So you got to adjust. You obviously can't complain. Those are pro teams, um, pro, pro coaches. Um, they've seen it all. So if they, they tell you to play a position, they probably have someone in mind. And um, it ended up working out really well. I played, I played a great combine and um, talked to a couple of coaches and then, yeah, went home um, over Christmas and then got the great news that I was drafted by Seattle. Um, and then, yeah, some, some other things happened. Um, some deals were made and, um, you know, Houston and, and Seattle had some conversations and um, I, had signed, I had signed a deal with uh, RGV, but um, yeah, Seattle was well aware and of that undrafted me, but you know, it all worked out fine. Now I'm here in the Valley, um, you know, trying to enjoy my first season, even though I've only played w one full game, but um, hoping to, to get back on the field. But yeah, just, you know, if there's, if there's one thing I want to give to you guys is, you know, perseverance is everything. You got to believe in yourself, but trust me, um, no one has ever made it without, you know, failing first. And I think what I've seen with a lot of great players in the academy in Germany is the players that were the best players, number 10 captains, best goal scorer, all those guys, some of them definitely made it for sure. But a lot of these guys have never really experienced failure until it came to the big jump to the pros. And if they didn't make it right away, they often struggled to, you know, get back on their feet because they never handled or they never knew what it was not to be the best. So um, perseverance is a big thing, man. Like it's big. I've had a lot of setbacks, um, a lot of hardships. And I think just because I never gave up, I eventually, you know, got my first professional contract. And, you know, hopefully it's only up from here. I have a lot of more plans and um, I have a long way to go. So, yeah. Hopefully that helped you guys out and uh, yeah, thank you guys.